When a photo looks gray, most people quickly raise the contrast. But have you ever noticed the dehaze slider? At first glance, they seem similar, but the way they affect light is completely different. To understand why dehaze makes an image look clearer, we need to look at how light actually exists inside a photo. Every pixel lies somewhere between pure black and pure white. That range is called the tone range. It represents the full brightness of an image, divided into 256 levels, from 0 to 255. Open Camera Raw. If the histogram is clustered in the middle, without touching the blacks or the whites, the photo will lack highlights and deep shadows, and appear gray and flat, lacking depth. When you increase contrast, bright areas are pushed up, and darks are pulled down. The tone range gets compressed, highlights and shadows move farther apart. The image looks stronger, but you lose detail in both bright and dark regions. It looks brighter, yes, but highlights blow out and shadows die. You can also reduce grayness by increasing highlights and whites, then decreasing shadows and blacks. It gives the image more punch, but still sacrifices tonal detail, a kind of manual tone compression. With curves, you can pull both ends toward the top of the histogram. It gives strong contrast, but again, it's still compressing the tone range. When you adjust tools like contrast, blacks, whites, or curves, the histogram stretches toward both ends. You gain contrast but lose detail. Dehaze behaves differently. It darkens the neutral gray tones in the middle of the histogram, while leaving the highlights and shadows untouched. This keeps details on both ends, while making the image look clearer and deeper. That's why dehaze brings clarity without harshness. However, increasing dehaze also boosts saturation. So if you want a more natural result, reduce saturation slightly after using it. You can instantly see the difference. The image looks clearer and has much more depth after dehazing. In short, when your image looks gray, check the histogram first. If it's clustered in the middle, use contrast or curves to expand the tones. If the photo already has light and dark areas but looks veiled or hazy, try dehaze. Sometimes just a slight adjustment is enough to bring back depth and clarity. But the more important question is, why dehaze at all? Not every gray photo needs fixing. If you want to preserve the mood of mist, soft light, or atmosphere, keep it that way. If you want clear separation, structure, and stronger contrast, then dehaze helps you express the emotion you intend to show. Post-processing isn't about making a photo prettier. It's about making it feel right. Thank you for watching till the end. Every comment or subscribe helps me keep creating more Photoshop lessons for you.